This is Mark with ClickFunnels Support, and in this video, I'll be going over the social shares element. So on this thank you page, I have a social shares element in the pop-up here. And if you click on the social shares element, there are a few different options. It's going to give you the share URL, the Twitter title, and the Twitter username. You can also choose a theme, and these are all just basic styles that you can choose, just different default styles. So let's see, got, got a few different ones. Let's go with blue. So you got a nice blue style there. You can change the alignment. And then you can also adjust the animation and delay settings as well. Now, these ones here are the important ones. The share URL, the Twitter title, and the Twitter username. So here, you're gonna put the URL that you want users to land on when this gets shared. So this is actually on my thank you page, but when the users share this page, I don't want the friends to land on the thank you page. I would rather they land on the opt-in page. So I'm gonna place the URL of my opt-in page, which is this one here. And I'm gonna paste that in to the share URL. The Twitter title is the actual tweet that goes out. So this can be something along the lines of get this free PDF when you check out this page or something like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to add your Twitter username without the ampersand. So now when somebody clicks the share for the Twitter button, it'll, it'll automatically populate a tweet with this here, with your Twitter username and your link. So you may also wanna consider using a link shortening service such as Bitly uh, to make your share URL shorter because you will be limited for all of these here to 140 characters on Twitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that page and then we're gonna test it out live. So let's go ahead and go to the opt-in page. I'm gonna click get free report, enter my name, and submit. Now the share buttons are on the pop-up, so I'm gonna click here, and then I'm gonna click here to share to Twitter. And as you can see, it populates with the Twitter title, the URL, and the Twitter username. If I click here to share to Google+, it's going to populate with my share image that I have on that URL and all the information that I have in the meta settings. And if I share to Facebook, it will do the same thing as well. So as you can see, the meta settings haven't updated as well. And so we're going to actually go through this in another video, how you can force Facebook to recognize all your metadata.